Okay, so good morning. It's uh, late November, Monday before Thanksgiving. Rainy day, I'm in the shop putting together a bunch of boxes here. Bees are pretty well wrapped up for the winter. Um, last week I put a teaser up. We got a delivery of a couple pallets of hive bodies and immediately a bunch of questions came up and I said, yeah, I'll answer those questions in a video um, so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. I put that video on a lot of sites. So um, anyway, Let's talk about boxes. These are deep hive bodies, which I'm working with now. And um, there's three grades, really, that are sold. One is a select grade, which means, you know, you can make a piece of furniture out of it. It's beautiful, perfectly clear wood. You know, no chip outs in the machining, no defects, no chips missing, no corners, no knots. Um, and they're the most expensive grade of boxes. Knocked down, they're easily 20, 25 bucks in a lot of places. Um, then you go down to a commercial grade, allows a few more knots, a few little defects, but not much more, but save a few dollars. And then my favorite grade, which these are, these are budgets. Um, these boxes were made uh, by Humble Abodes up in Maine. Um, they're made out of eastern white pine. Beautiful, soft, I love white pine. Um, very durable, a lot more decay resistant than the, the western pines can be. Um, and uh, Humble Abodes is owned by Better Bee. They're up in Greenwich, New York, Greenwich, I guess they call it. And uh, if you buy boxes from Better Bee, you're probably getting Humble Abodes boxes. Um, I order directly from uh, Humble Abodes. Uh, now, this is a funky little company. I mean, I've dealt with them for 20 years now. So um, these these budget boxes are perfectly uh, perfectly serviceable and. There's no reason to spend the money unless you want that really nice, perfect piece, but you put it outside with a coat of paint on it, the bees aren't going to know or care. Okay, so the next question is, are you going to buy your boxes um, assembled? If you aren't handy with tools, or by all means, just buy them assembled. You make a mess, you'll waste a lot of material, and you'll be very frustrated. So um, you know, this video is to those people that do want to assemble these boxes. So um, anyway... Nails versus staples is the next question. If you've only got a few boxes, you're gonna get a hammer and nails, you're gonna pound them in. If you've got more, you're gonna do like I do. I use pneumatic nailers. I've got every nailer going known to man. Um, I've got a commercial uh, woodworking business here in the shop, so, and I do construction, roofing, all kinds of stuff I've done over the years. I got every nailer you can imagine. But most people don't have that. Um, this, this is a half inch crown stapler. Um, these are two inches long. And I use them on the major, you know, the major pins here. And then there's a smaller pin up top here that uh, is where the frames rest and the rabbit is. I use a quarter inch crown staple on them. Uh, a little smaller, you don't want to split that out. I do not glue my boxes. That question came up. Um, I see no need of it. They're perfectly strong, nailed without glue. Gluing does not hurt. If, if you want to do that, go for it. Um, use a good exterior grade uh, glue. They're gonna be a little stronger, but it's not necessary. Man, I've had bears maul in my boxes and they've never broken the joints apart. They've chewed on them, they've split the, they've split the uh, rabbits out. But, you know, you don't need it. If you're only gonna get one stapler, get the quarter inch crown and get one of those shoot inch and a half nails, okay, or staples. Uh, and then you can get shorter ones for the rabbit, but you can use the long ones in there. So that's, that's pretty, pretty uh, much it, except for one thing. When you buy your boxes, you need to be ready to assemble them immediately. And the reason why is these things are made up in Maine. They're probably about 8% moisture when they're made, which is the ideal moisture. Um, and they're wrapped in plastic when they're shipped down here. And the reason why is you put them in a wetter area, they're going to take on moisture. This nine and a half inch board could swell up to be a quarter of an inch. And if you think about that in terms of these finger joints, all of a sudden they're not going to match. Or if you put it in a real dry area, they could, they could uh, shrink down, curl, twist, split, whatever. So <clears throat> if, if you get boxes ahead of time, wrap them up in plastic, keep them wrapped in plastic so they don't lose moisture. Um, I've never really seen from any of the major manufacturers any joints that didn't fit nicely immediately off the truck, okay? Um, there's a couple of fly-by-nights out there making some stuff that, yeah, it's pretty rough, you know? but deal from the major you know, suppliers and uh, you should have no trouble with these boxes going together um, as long as you remember that you should do it immediately so here's how these things go together this is the end end down take this side 
just set them right in. Take the other side, set it in. The only mistake you can make is if you put this, this side on and the handhold is on the inside, you're not gonna be able to um, grab it. So I've got a couple, everybody that's ever worked for me has done a couple where they've put the handholds in. It's, it's really embarrassing to admit that you did that. So it only happens once or twice and then you're done. So um, take that from me. So these boxes just come together like that. Well machined boxes always nail up square. Okay, so this box all nailed up. Um, if you want to check the square on it, go back to your basic geometry. If the diagonals of a rectangle are uh, the same, your box is square, right? That means this is a 90 degree. So 25 and 5 eighths is what we're looking for. That's just about 25 and 5 eighths. This box is perfectly square. So a um, couple other safety things. Always wear some sort of eyeglasses, safety glasses, and I always wear uh, hearing protection. I makes you know, my career has been in noisy stuff and I don't want to lose my hearing. So I, I really can't think of anything else. Um, we could talk about paint. Um, these boxes, if, if they're put outside and they're not painted with some sort of a exterior uh, finish, they're gonna rot a lot sooner than, um, you know, if they're, if they're painted. Some big outfits, they'll dip them in hot paraffin. That seems to work very well for them. I don't want to get involved in that. I paint, I spray them with a, a coat of uh, good quality latex primer, then two top coats of high quality latex paint. You're done. Don't buy the most expensive paint. Don't buy the cheapest paint. Same thing. That's always been my philosophy with this stuff here. And this box should give you 20, 25 years of service um, easily. Okay. Usually what happens is um, they'll start to rot on the bottom edge. You get in there where you're prying apart the hive tool, it starts to damage the wood, they'll do that. Um, like I said, I've, I've said before, bears have gotten into them and chewed them up, but that's really all there is to it. And uh, get yourself ready and go. I've got boxes here and then I got a paint. I got 125 here to go to paint. And uh, then we'll start on the next pallet.